Hey everyone, um, this is how I would start my uh, course, or my class, pardon me. So now, that's what I would start off with, is the hook. So now, I'm going to go and start into a presentation of um, PowerPoint. So we're in barrel. So what we'll be doing. And the kids would be um, decorating a rain barrel as a fundraiser. So there's different styles you can do. Um, burn construction. Obviously, uh, we'd be doing this one here. Some wood and stuff like that is one I'd like to see them potentially do. They could um, paint and whatnot. I'll. Uh, different ones and like I said it would be a fundraiser um, we would talk about uh, the anatomy of the rain barrel and how much water you can actually save um, by harvesting and uh, collecting so there you go a 1,000 square foot roof can gather 20,000 gallons 75,000 liters a year Using a rain barrel can save money, significant amount of money in a season. For each of the rain that falls on a 500 square foot roof, you can collect 300 gallons of water. And uh, in most areas of North America, that means you can collect more than a thousand gallons of water a year to use in your containers, houseplants, garden, or even on the lawn. Um, just a material list again. It says drill hole. You don't need a rain barrel kit to conserve water. Start by drilling 
uh, using your drill to create a hole near the bottom of the barrel. Uh, this is where you insert the spigot, which is the drain. You either drill a bit smaller than or the same size as the spigot. And you don't have to create a hole that's too low. You'll want to leave space for the watering can. So place a metal washer onto the threaded end of the spigot and put snugly fit rubber washer over the end of the threads to help hold the washer in place to prevent leakage. Next we'd apply a bead of waterproof sealant over the rubber washer and insert the spigot into the hole. Wait for the sealant to dry and then run a rubber washer followed by a metal washer onto the threads of the spigot inside the barrel. Secure the spigot in place inside your barrel with the hose clamp. This is important because you will need to keep the spigot from coming loose in your barrel. You can also run Teflon tape over the uh, hole. Just the end. Make entry and exit holes. Carefully cut a hole in the lid of your rain barrel. This hole should sit under your home's downspout so the water runs right into the barrel. Cut the hole so it's large enough to accommodate the water flow from the downspout. You also want to drill a hole or two near the very top of your rain barrel. This hole will allow water to the overflow. You run a short length of hose or PVC pipe from the overflow hole to another rain barrel to connect them. That way if your rain barrel fills, the excess water will run into the next one and you don't lose overflow water. So then you take some landscape fabric. Cut a piece of landscape fabric and sit it over the top and put the lid on to secure it. This will create a barrier to prevent mosquito and other pests from getting in your rain barrel water. Pretty good idea actually. And step seven, place your barrel. Now that you've the hard work's done, all you have to do is get the rain barrel into place, position it directly under the downspout in a spot that's convenient to use. Just wait for the rain and you can enjoy the water and money savings. So if you set up, it says here, here's a hint, set it up on a platform and give you more pressure to connect the hose and makes it easier filling up water cans. So my lesson plan, that was what I had figured the kids would do. Um, and uh, we're going back down here. So I would uh, engage them in learning and less lecture. I'd want them to have fun, and uh, I think it would be a pretty, pretty fun project. Uh, the teacher should should buy up the stuff, the uh, rain barrels and stuff like that. So I think it would be pretty, uh, pretty good project to um, to do, um, and it would be fun for the kids because then they would learn something. Um, about uh, they demonstrate the ability to lay out the center where the holes will be cut. Um, they would also be able to identify the anatomy of the rain barrel. Um, and I hope that they would apply the knowledge they learned in the lesson on renewable resources, uh, i.e. water harvesting. So, and then after this as well, they'll be able to explain the idea of harvesting and conserving the water. Um, as well as constructing their own barrel and decorating it. So um, I think that would be pretty, pretty fun idea. Um, we really shouldn't take too long to um, to construct, but uh, I feel it's pretty valuable that the kids can um, understand what uh, renewable resources we have and. Um, have fun doing it at the same time. So, thank you.